From the outside, Sonny and Annie's Deli may look like your typical neighborhood deli slash bodega, but as I was about to find out, on the inside they serve a vast array of delicious and creative sandwiches making it a true hidden gem. Today I'm here in New York City, right along the Hudson River, and as much as I'd like to say it, it's a nice day out, the truth is, it is not. It's quite terrible out. There's this horrible, smoky haze obscuring all the buildings and skyscrapers. It's the result of those unfortunate wildfires up north in Canada. It's not the best day to be out. Thankfully, it's not nearly as bad as that post-apocalyptic type of weather we had a few weeks ago. That was horrible. I was out maybe a half hour just getting some photos and some footage, and yeah, that was disgusting. Despite the fact that today is not perfect, nevertheless, I'll make the best of it. And I definitely made the best of my lunch today. I went to this deli in East Village that I've probably walked past hundreds of times, completely unaware that they serve some truly crazy and unique and delicious sandwiches. The place is called Sunny and Annie's Deli, and unless you live in the neighborhood, for most, it's a true hidden gem. My sandwich was not only unique and delicious, it was affordable, which is perfect for me right now, considering I'm back from Argentina and back to the NYC money struggles. So this was my lunch and experience at Sunny and Annie's Deli in the East Village. Just a block away from Tompkins Square Park in the Alphabet City area of the East Village is Sunny and Annie's Deli. Since 1997, the establishment has been family owned and has served the neighborhood ever since. There's a pretty nice selection of groceries and food, and I was particularly fond of the old school pour it yourself coffee, but I was of course there for the deli. The colorful array of paper making up the menu almost completely covers up the area where the sandwiches are made. There's just so many options that it took me a while to choose. A good number of the creations are Asian inspired, while a multitude of them are named after notable figures and celebrities. Even though one could get standard deli offerings like BLTs and the like, I wanted something unique. After waiting about six to seven minutes for my sandwich to be prepared, I headed out to the park for my lunch. So I've made it here to the beautiful Tompkins Square Park, just a block or so from Sunny and Annie's Deli. It's time to feast on my sandwich. All right, so I got the pho number 10, and it seems like a pretty sizable sandwich. This is, uh, has a little weight to it. My pho 10 sandwich contained bulgogi, sesame leaves, red onions, chives, cucumber, cilantro, avocados, bacon, cantaloupe, jalapenos, hoisin sauce, mozzarella cheese, and a spicy red pesto sauce. Yeah. There were a hell of a lot of ingredients. Oh yeah, look at this. This is beautiful. Looks like some good bread too. And it's just packed with stuff. Here we go, first bite. This is a good sandwich. Mm. I'm liking this. The sandwich really has everything. It's got sweetness, it's got spice, the texture is pretty nice. I would have liked a bit more crisp with the bread, but it's still pretty tasty bread at least. The Pho 10 is one of the more costly creations at Sonny and Annie's Deli. It set me back $15.99, but after having taken a few bites, I knew it was so worth it. Considering its size, quality, and vast number of ingredients, the sandwich is a bargain. Now there is certainly some spice to this, but it's nothing dramatic. Anyone could really handle this, I feel like. It's a pleasant spice, and it just goes so well with everything. At the deli, I had my choice of meat for the sandwich. It was between pork, bulgogi, and chicken, and I ultimately went with bulgogi. I certainly do not regret that decision because it is delicious, and they certainly give you a lot of meat. In addition, I was also given the choice of having my sandwich either on a hero roll or in a wrap. I ultimately went with the hero roll and I'm really happy with that. Even though I kind of want a little more crisp on the bread, like in a crisp on me, I'm still pretty happy. Because like I said, there's good flavor in this bread and it does taste pretty fresh. This is kind of a messy sandwich. I should not have taken the sandwich out of its wrapper. All the ingredients are falling off and uh, yeah, I'm glad I have napkins at least. While the Pho 10 is loaded with ingredients, they all seem to work together in harmony. Now you would think with a name like Pho number 10 that this would be a very Vietnamese focused sandwich, and it is, but there's a lot of different elements that don't necessarily conform to the Vietnamese picture. 
Take for instance the avocado. Now I really like it. It provides a really pleasant smoothness and the taste of avocados. I mean, who doesn't love avocados? Plus, the creaminess of the avocados provided the perfect contrast to the spice of the sandwich. But I think hands down the most interesting ingredient on this sandwich is the cantaloupe. Now, I can't think of a sandwich that I've actually had with cantaloupe on it before. But it works, it provides a nice sweetness and a nice textural component as well. It's uh, interesting, but like I said, it's good. Overall, I really enjoyed my sandwich and I really appreciate Sonny and Annie's Deli. While similar establishments are mainly frequented by locals, the unique and delicious sandwich creations have made Sunny and Annie's Deli into a destination-worthy spot. That was an absolutely killer sandwich. I am so incredibly pleased with my purchase. That was awesome. This is not some deli making the run of the mill sandwiches. These are unique and fantastic creations. And their menu is so expansive. Everything just looked really good. I would love to go back. I just can't believe it's taken me this long to finally get there. I mean, I must've walked past that place hundreds of times and not even known that I was walking past something really special. But that's the thing with New York City. You just never know what you'll find behind every door. But now I have seen the light and I'm fully aware of the wonderful sandwiches behind the door of Sunny and Annie's Deli. Truly a spectacular place and one that I will certainly be returning to.